you mind keeping an eye on this golf ball? We're not sure where it's going to go. Because on this episode of World Twilight Golfer, we'll be looking at the top 10 public golf courses in New York. And with little less than a thousand golf courses, we'll be swinging into all of them. And we'll be bringing you the top 10 public ones that you can play. But before we do, we're hitting every state, so make sure you take a look at our channel. And we'll also have every country and the top golf courses in that country. So you wouldn't want to miss any of that if you're looking for some travel golf. So let's zoom in to our number 10th spot on this list. This Robert Trent Jones course stretches 7,016 yards, has a ranking of 73.6 and a slope of 129 course was built in 2010 and then again is a Robert Trent Jones Jr. course. Also has bent grass and bent fairways and it's open year round for some championship golf. With an incredible layout it's hard to believe that there's nine more public golf courses that you could play that are better than this one. So let's zoom out so we can bring you number nine on our list. And number nine is another beautiful golf course on the north side of the state. And we're going to zoom in to that National Golf Club located in Saratoga, New York. Saratoga National Golf Club. It's a par 72 that stretches 7,241 yards. The course has a slope of 124 or 144 and a ranking of 75.3 course opened in 2001 has bent grass bent fairways and is most of the golf season is from april to november has all the amenities including driving range carts gps and everything to get your day started in saratoga new york with some incredible golf the course has very good reviews online and is a pretty reasonable course on the weekdays. It's about $55 to play it and it goes up to almost $70 to $80 on week weekends and holidays. But nonetheless, it is a championship golf with some incredible greens to putt on. And that's going to do it for number nine on this list. So we still got a few more golf courses to look at. We got eight total public golf courses that we're going to zoom into. So number eight on our list. Now we're getting closer to New York City on this one, but we're still very far out. This course is a par 72 that stretches 6,772 yards with a slope of 127 and a ranking of 72.5. The course opened for play in 1991 and is a very reasonable course with 18 holes on weekdays costing $48 and going up to $62 on weekends for some incredible golf here. Now, there's a few more golf courses and we're almost getting closer to New York City. So let's zoom out because now we're looking at number seven on this list. And this one is a no joke golf course just outside New York here, just a few hours away. This par 72 stretches 7,100 and 65 yards from the back tees has a slope of 150 and an overall ranking of 76. Now it has bluegrass and bent green putting surfaces, bluegrass fairways, and it was built in 2008. This is a peat dye design course, so you know it's going to be in the top 10. So let's zoom out because we're just getting right outside New York City, as you can see. And we're going to go into number six on this list. We have almost broken the top 10 golf courses. And that one looks like it's in Connecticut, but I can rest assured that it is in New York. This one over on Staten Island, a state park golf course here and an incredible one nonetheless. This course is a par 72 that stretches 6,976 yards. It has a slope of 135 and an overall ranking of 76.3. The course was built in 1928 and has a ton of history to go with it. It's a Robert Trent Jones Sr. course. At least he made some updates in 1968. The course is closed in the wintertime 
and it is a pretty reasonable golf course. On weekdays, it's $43, and on weekends, it can go up to $48. Now, they also have a Twilight rate of $26. That should be noted because that's a really reasonable price to play some Twilight golf. And speaking of Twilight Golf, now we're breaking into the top 10 public golf courses ranked by World Twilight Golfer. And there's sure some great golf left. So let's zoom in to our number fifth spot on this list. And this is a great golf course on the north part of the state. The course is a par 70 that stretches 6,771 yards, has a slope of 137 and a ranking of 73.8. Of course, absolutely has some history in it. It was built in 1928 and is a Donald Ross designed course, famous uh, golf architect. Has bent grass and bent grass fairways. Course can go upwards of $71 on weekends and can go anywhere from $50 walking 18 holes. And in regards to a twilight rate, 20 bucks to walk the course 34 to ride it and that's what we like to see but that's going to start at 6 o'clock p.m which leaves not much time for golf not sure why they put that on the website there but there's still some good golf here so let's zoom in to our number fourth spot on this list another course just off one of those magnificent lakes in northern new york and this one has even more history than the other one because it was built in 1909. It's a par 72 that stretches 6,416 yards. Has incredible rankings online, but you will pay a price. The online rates for this golf course are up in the 120s to 130. But it looks like if you got a chance to play, it'll be well worth it. Course has a slope of 135 and a ranking of 70. Point eight. It also has bent grass greens and bent grass fairways. Now we're getting real close to New York, so let's swing it again as we put one closer to the top golf public golf course in New York. And with that, we got three more golf courses, and this one is just outside New York in Brooklyn. And it's an incredible Lynx style golf course. Trump Golf Lynx Ferry Point. Now that course is probably changed its name since the last time we've updated this video but that's what it is right now and it's a complete link style golf course here that offers no trees whatsoever but a pretty interesting golf course that you'll pay the price for if you're looking to pay it because the course is very expensive but as it should be because it's right outside new york and it's an incredible golf course so it is public i think you need caddies for that one we're not going to go into it too much because we got two more golf courses to look at so let's zoom in to our number two second on this list two goes to turning stone golf resort and this one is no joke the course opened for play in 2004 and was designed by golf architect tom fazia it was built in oh it was it's a par 72 and is a 7315 yards it is a slope of 143 and it's listed as a parkland style course with a ranking of 75.8 so let's swing in to our number one golf course in the state of new york city new york just outside new york city and a lot of people from new york city might have played this golf course because this is a well-known one Beth Page Black Course. Now there's five courses obviously to pick from. We went with the most notable one, the Black Course. And this is a no joke course because it stretches 7,465 yards with a slope of 155 and a ranking of 77.5. The course was built in 1936. But at the time it was not nearly as possible it is now with some major championships being held here. It has made it a bucket list golf course for anyone that has played golf. And that's going to really do it for our list. If you made it this far, keep a lookout for more videos to come. We're hitting every state and looking at the top golf courses in that state. So I would make sure you subscribe. Heads and up. one thing else.